got it. So that's a that's it, dude. Oh, <laughs> 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 All right, let's do this. Ha! What up, B geeks and dudes and dudettes? My name is DV Geek. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Watch Re Zero. Yes, dudes, we're back in this awesome dark anime. I love it, dudes. This anime is seriously. At first, I was kind of like. Eh. Do I like this anime? It's interesting. It's it's becoming something quite interesting. But then it gets really dark, and you're just like, yeah, this anime has got all the qualities of a good anime. You know, it they it, it, it hits you in the feels with the light humor and getting to know the characters, and then they just literally, you know, stab you in the heart with the dark and the gore and and the deceitfulness and the betrayal. And <laughs> it's just a great anime, dude. Seriously, it's it's an amazing transition. From when everything is all merry, everything is happy, and then everything just goes down shit creek in like se 10 seconds flat. It's it's absolutely incredible. So we're going to be checking out more episodes today, dudes, as promised, right here on Patreon. I'm going to be checking out episodes 11 and 12, as far as I know. And um, that means we're already marking almost a halfway point of the series, which is awesome, because we'll cover this very soon. If we follow the, the weekly schedule as uh, planned, we should get through this in no time. Anyway guys, I'm hyped, I'm ready to get into some more of ReZero awesomeness, so without further ado, let's watch ReZero. Alright dude, so here it is, ReZero episode 11, let's dive in. Play. Victory! Victory! <laughs> the kids love Subaru. Also, that Ram and Rem backstory that we got, that was something else, dudes. Yeah, especially Rem. I'm so glad she's okay, you know? Look at him, he's blushing. <laughs> Who's the butler? I haven't seen him before. Whoa, Chocobo. <laughs> oh, okay. This butler, I haven't seen him before. <laughs> Stupid face on Subaru. In game with tea. It tastes lovely. Oh, God. That's true, he doesn't know who you are and what rank you are or where you stand in the ladder of the mansion, bro. This dude, he's love drunk. I think he's well aware of that though. Oh no. You are very correct. I thought he was going to say something. I lost my wife. Old man Will. Who's this? Wait a freaking second. She's like half cat, dude. Nothing. <laughs> he wants nothing more but there to support you. <laughs> she likes attention from Subaru. <laughs> the way he drags out his words. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's fair enough. 
てたのが意外だったかな人と話すよりぶった切っちゃう方が好きなのにひどい So people that have to talk about them あの少年の年少しばかり気になっただけですほうあれは何度か死域に不動の Well versed with death Yep How did he know that? That, um, that old man is very similar design to Sebus from Overlord. The last episode of Overlord was Sebus um, focus. And he's just in my head right now, but he genuinely does remind me of him. And like little raptors. <laughs> oh, nuts. Oh, no. <laughs> yes, Subaru. No need to worry, bro. Ooh, is it Reinhardt? Or is that somebody else? No, I don't know who that is. Who's this guy? Julius? Oh, he's got a thing. Oh! <laughs> the jealousy! That is the first time we've seen him jealous, bro. Oh, he's got a thing. He's so angry right now. Uh oh. Oh! <laughs> Whoa! Bro! You know she got them assets, yo. Oh, look who it is! It's these guys again. <laughs> Fox in tiger's clothing. Hey, look who it is! That's awesome! <laughs> he just knows all the right people, man. That's awesome. I'm super strong. Well, he's definitely not afraid of anything anymore, considering he's met death so many times already. I mean, well, what would scare you then? So he hasn't found her yet. It's been like well over a week. Interesting. Emilia san! Wait a second. His voice sounds familiar. Am I right in saying that the guy with the helmet is the same voice actor as Leorio from Hunter x Hunter? I could be wrong. I need to hear his voice again. She is putting you in your place, boy! <laughs> Listen to your woman, boy. Listen to her. She speaks. Oh, the bowel hunter. She was something else, wasn't she? Yep, stubborn as a freaking mule, bro. Sir. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you staring? <laughs> Dude. That was quick and damn that carriage is badass. 
俺らもちょうど王城に向かう途中だったからよ王城何しに今日という日に王城に向かう理由は Definitely Leorio's voice あれおいそ凡族を待たせるのもわらわの優越よ OK A lot of important people here, bro. Oh, yeah. She gonna be so angry with you, bro. Oh, oh. I don't know why he couldn't listen to her. You need to respect her as well, Subaru. That's a that's a dude. What? <laughs> I said he was cute, bro. <laughs> damn you, anime! God damn you, traps! There's Froppy! <laughs> Jokes. Oh. Oh. That is definitely, definitely Leorio's voice from Hunter Hunter. I'd be very surprised if it isn't. Oh, he's found her. Is this her? Who is it? Please don't be the bowel hunter. No. Who are these? Wait a second. What? Felt. Felt. What were you? What the f Oh right, so that was a cliffhanger, bro. Turns out Felt is the fifth and final priestess. Yo, they really built the hype for that, didn't they? They ended it like dun -dun 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 -dun. Felt is the fifth priestess. Like what why? Why? That's why he wanted her so badly? I'm in shock, bro. <laughs> this episode was so different from the others. Like, there was no dark um, scenes or anything in this one. Which, of course, you don't want to throw too much of that because it could ruin the anime. Um, but we got to see a whole lot more. Like, new characters. Like, a new um, environment. I really like this episode, dudes. And Subaru is so stubborn, you know. He needs to learn to respect... Emilia san he needs to learn that when she says something she means it and he just seems to be so stubborn and just wants to be by your side all the time it's kind of clingy it's a little bit needy <laughs> this dude needs to calm down a little bit i know he's in love bro but give the girl some space subaru for crying out loud oh my god great episode dudes but this was a good cliffhanger i must say uh, so i wanted to know why she's the fifth and final priestess uh what's the story here why do they need um, a priestess, a dragon priestess. Well, I don't, honestly, I don't know what's going on here. It's a little bit confusing, but hopefully in the next episode to clarify that. Anyway, dudes, let's just hop straight into episode 12. Let's go. All right, dudes, my bad. This is actually episode 13. We watched episode 12. I have this tendency of losing track and losing count. My bad. My bad. Let's get into it. Here it is, guys. Episode 13 of ReZero. Let's go. Boom. All right, so... Felt is the fifth and final priestess. Oh, like they're friends now? <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> yes, like, what the heck are you doing here? It's like everybody knows Subaru. Oh! <laughs> An untrained little bitch. 
My God, she's cruel, bro. This is getting a little bit tense. Uh oh Dude, you're out of your place here. He's excited. What's he doing? <laughs> the epicness! <laughs> he knows this love our world. Oh no! Subaru! Do you realize what you put yourself in, bro? You made a pretty bold statement, Subaru! You're gonna have to back it up, bro! Are we gonna have a duel, bro? Are we gonna have a duel right here, right now? Uh oh. She's very upset with you. Oh, he's devastated, bro. Who is letting dynamite, dude? Oh! Look at him clearing that smoke. Uh oh. That was a good attempt. Not good enough, Joe. It's the only way. She has power now, bro. She just saved you. これも全部お前の運命の導きです。It just worked out that way. いいえ。これより僕はフェルト様の騎士です。ならいいや。古希使ってやるよ。I work you to death. <laughs> She's a feisty little one. <laughs> Oh shit! The headphones, bro! It's too good! It's too good! I'm knocking off my headphones! We're back, we're back! Uh oh! Uh oh! Here's the duel! He's gonna test him! The death penalty?! Good luck killing him. <laughs> Been there, done that. <laughs> oh no! Oh god! Oh, oh, oh my god! You're not holding back! Of course it was. What do you expect? Subaru has no skill whatsoever. <laughs> oh god. He's beating his face in. Oh no. Oh, look at him! Oh, Subaru. You put yourself in this situation, dude. I'm sorry. This kind of was self inflicted. Oh, no! He 
used it. She told him not to. That's it. Ah, oh, bro. She's upset with you. She's well upset with you, bro. I hate to say it, but he deserves it. I mean, he wouldn't listen to her. Respect her. Jeez. She's right, you know. She's right, you know, Subaru. You promised and you broke the promise immediately. She's well upset. What is that, bro? It's all coming out now. Oh God. Dude. Dude. Wow. Well, that was um, a really, really sad ending to the episode. It all came out. It all came out. Super just let it all out. Um, it looks like this... All this stuff that Subaru has done for Emilia, as much as it is admirable and as much as she appreciates it, he can be a little overwhelming. And he's really pushed her to her limits at this stage. To the point where she can't do it anymore. He's just putting himself in danger to make her happy. Even though he just can't accept that she's already happy. And he just keeps pushing and pushing and pushing to the point where he pushed her away. Um, this happens a lot. In many relationships, this happens in so many things. I've seen, I see it every day. People they fall in love. People become obsessed. Sometimes one half of the relationship can be more obsessed than the other, leading to them pushing the other one away. And it's something that is happening in this. Subaru just wants to do everything for her because he feels like he owes her, like an unlimited amount. Um, but he needs to understand that. If he truly lo loves her and he truly cares about her, he needs to understand that she needs space and she needs to do the things that she needs to do without him being there all the time because it's unnecessary and it just leads to this. <laughs> um, so I don't know what's going to happen here. It seems that she's just walked away and left him and I think this is kind of like saying that it's over between me and you. It's done. Um, I'm not going to make you do anything for me anymore as you've done so much for me and she just left so yeah it was a pretty emotional ending to this episode dude I wasn't expecting that at all you know from the previous episode we got a cliffhanger this one we just got like man heartbroken <laughs> um but yeah dudes that does end my reaction here today to the two episodes of re-zero if you guys enjoyed be sure to give me a thumbs up a like and that'd be super awesome and of course i just want to say a huge thank you to all the new patreon warriors that have joined the community we're going strong dudes we're getting very close to 400 warriors which is amazing we'll get there i'm sure we'll get there soon 
I just want to say thank you to you all. You're all so very amazing. And also want to say a shout out to Vern and Jerry Beck, who became silver and gold. Actually, the two of them became gold members of the Patreon community. So they're now golden warriors. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. And I hope I can provide content here for you amazing supportive people. Anyway, guys, like I said, that ends it here. And as always, stay geeky, stay cool, be awesome, be happy. And I'll see you dudes in my next ReZero video. See you later, dudes.